Ball, an emotional reunion and a big sigh of relief tonight for a family who spent hours on edge. Uh, they were worried about a teenager with autism who went missing right after school. Well, 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville standing by live tonight in Madison Heights and certainly a tense night when your son is missing. Yeah, Stephen and Carolyn, you guys would know as parents, it's kind of your worst nightmare when your child does not come home when they're supposed to come home. But like you said, there was a happy reunion out here near the Micro Center store. That's where we're standing in this parking lot near 14 Mile and Concord. 13-year-old Anthony McLean, he went missing for more than five hours. Smiles and a whole lot of tears outside the Micro Center store in Madison Heights tonight. That's because 13 year old Anthony McLean was returned safely to family after he was missing for more than five hours. What was the first thing you said to him when you when you saw him and you knew that he was good and um, safe? And the first thing I, I did was hug him and give him a kiss and tell him it's okay. Oh my God. AJ is on the autism spectrum, but considered high functioning. But his family says it was highly unusual behavior for him not to return home after school. That led to a search by officers in Troy and Madison Heights, also by family and church members. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know you, but I'm about to hug you. Thank you. They believe he got off on the wrong bus stop on Concord in Madison Heights and was eventually found by Troy officers a good distance away near 15 Mile in Rochester. We were really worried about him, but he just felt like um, he needed a walk and he needed to take some time to himself and, you know, internalize whatever thoughts he had. This afternoon was every mom and dad's worst nightmare. Your child not returning to you anytime close to the time when they were scheduled to be home. Wow, you can feel the emotion right there in that reunion. We've covered an awful lot of these. We know sometimes these don't end so well. One last note, the family wanted to send out a special thanks to Troy police officers, Alex and Brian. They didn't know their last names, but they're very thankful for their efforts tonight. For now, we're live in Madison Heights, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. Wow, what a wonderful reunion to see. Thank you so much, Aaron, for bringing us that reunion. And our hats go off to those officers as well. Thank you much, Stephen.